Open your hips and release stress and negative emotions in this sequence designed by Stephanie Snyder. Have two blankets nearby. Start in Tadasana, Mountain Pose, to begin this sequence that will move your hip joint through its entire range of motion. You'll warm up with sun salutations to build heat and lubricate your joints. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, fold forward, hands to the floor or your shins. Inhale, look forward, lengthen the spine. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands. Inhale, step back to plank pose. You can bring your knees to the floor for extra support. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasan, four-limbed staff pose. Bend your elbows at 90 degrees and then lower all the way down to your belly. Untuck your toes, hands under your shoulders. Root the pelvis into the floor. Inhale, Bhujangasana, cobra pose. Lift the head, heart, and shoulders. Sides of the neck soft as the shoulders roll back. If there is any pinching in the lower back, keep your heart closer to the floor. Exhale, press back to Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Press the hands into the earth, especially at the base of the thumbs and index fingers. Lengthen the sides of the waist. Roll the shoulders away from the ears as you root all four corners of the feet down. Inhale, bend the knees and gaze forward. Exhale, step lightly to the top of your mat. Inhale, look forward, lengthen the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, press into the feet, rise all the way up, reaching the arms overhead. Exhale, fold forward, hands to the floor or shins. Inhale, look forward, lift the spine halfway up. Exhale, bend the knees, take the hands to the floor. Inhale, step back to plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga, and then all the way down to the belly. Untuck your toes, root your pelvis into the floor, and inhale, cobra. Curl the upper spine as you lengthen your belly. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. As you move through this sequence, know that if you do this practice regularly, you may see improvement in the rest of your practice, since the pelvis is the foundation of alignment in many poses. Supple hips can ease back pain, improve circulation, and give you a more agile gait. Inhale, reach the right leg up and back. Exhale, step your right foot forward between your hands for Anjaneyasana, low lunge. Bring your left knee gently to the floor. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Lift the pit of your belly toward your heart and your heart toward the sky. Keep your hips parallel to the front end of your mat. Let your shoulders slide down your back as you lengthen your spine. Exhale, hands to the floor. Lift your left knee and step back to downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up and back. Exhale, step your left foot forward, right knee down, low lunge. Inhale, reach your arms up and isometrically draw your left thigh forward as you hug both thighs in toward your pelvis. Keep the front of your throat relaxed as you lengthen the sides of your waist. Exhale, release your hands down to the floor. Lift your right knee and step back to downward dog. Let the base of the neck feel spacious and relaxed. Inhale, reach up and back through the right leg. Exhale to high lunge. Step your right foot between your hands with your left knee lifted away from the floor. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Keep your hips square and draw your outer right thigh bone in toward the pelvis. Spin your inner left thigh bone up and gently tuck your tailbone. Exhale, release your hands and torso down, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg reaches back. Exhale, step your left leg forward. 
Inhale, lift your arms up overhead, high lunge. Allow your weight to drop into your legs, press your feet down into the earth, and feel the rebound of energy rise all the way up through your fingertips. Exhale, release, and step back to down dog. Press down through the hands, release your shoulders from your ears, and hollow the armpits into the body. Inhale, bend the knees, and gaze forward. Exhale, step lightly to the top of your mat. Inhale, look forward, lengthen the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, press into the feet, rise all the way up, reaching the arms overhead. Exhale, mountain pose. Take a wide stance for Virabhadrasana 2. Feet three and a half to four feet apart and parallel. Inhale, extend your arms open as you turn your right foot out, your left foot in. Align your right heel with the arch of your left foot. Bend your right knee to 90 degrees and center it over your right heel. Resist pushing too hard as you engage your legs, pull your low belly in and gaze over your right hand. Exhale, release your hands to your hips and shift your feet back to parallel. Inhale, extend out through your arms, turn your left foot out, your right foot in for the left side, warrior two. Simultaneously, press both thigh bones toward your back body and your sitting bones toward the front body. Feel the pelvis descend as your spine lifts and lengthens upward. Exhale, release your hands to your hips, take your feet parallel, and step or jump your feet together. Stand in mountain pose at the top of your mat. Inhale, press into the feet, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, fold forward, hands to the floor or shins. Inhale, look forward, lift the spine halfway up. Exhale, bend the knees, take the hands to the floor. Inhale, step back to plank. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale to Cobra or Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Spin the inner thighs back and apart. Inhale, reach back through your right leg. Exhale to Uttan Prishtasana, Lizard Pose. Step your right foot forward to a lunge position. You can bring your back knee down to the floor at any time if you need to. Bring your forearms either to a block or to the floor inside the right leg. Let go of pushing too hard. Keep your inner left thigh lifting and resisting. Inhale to lift the torso and take the right hand to the outside of the right leg. Exhale to down dog. We hold our stress and negative emotions like fear, guilt, and sadness in our pelvis. Whenever we don't know what to do with a feeling or experience, we put it here. Be present now without judgment. Inhale, lift the left leg back. Exhale to lizard pose. Take your arms to the inside of your left leg. Use the block and release your back knee to the floor if you need to as you bend your elbows and bring your forearms down. As your right heel reaches back, your heart opens forward to create length in your upper back. Take your time to breathe. Inhale to lift the torso. Take your left hand to the outside of the left leg. Exhale, downward facing dog. Sink your heels toward the floor. Bend your knees to the floor and come to seated in Dandasana, staff pose, to prepare for Ardhamatsyandrasana, half lord of the fishes pose. Draw your right knee into your chest and place your right foot on the floor outside your left knee. If your left knee is sensitive or injured, keep your left leg straight. Otherwise, bend your left knee and draw your left foot in toward your right sitting bone. Bring your right hand behind you in line with the center of your sacrum. 
Exhale, wrap your left arm around your right leg. Press your right foot and hand down as you lengthen your spine and twist to the right, initiating the movement from your belly. Hug your right knee into your left shoulder. Feel the stretch in the outer right hip. Exhale, release the twist and come back to staff pose for the second side. Bring your left knee into your chest and place your left foot outside your right knee. Feel free to keep your bottom leg straight if you need to or bend your right knee and take your right foot in toward your left sitting bone. Remember to be receptive to the breath as you move into the pose. Take your left hand behind you to your center line. Exhale, wrap your right arm around your left leg. Use your left hand and foot to root down. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, open to the twist. Exhale, release the twist and come back to staff pose for a variation of Gomukhasana, cow face pose. From sitting, bend your right knee and stack it on top of your left knee. Again, you can keep your bottom leg straight if you have a knee injury or sensitivity. Otherwise, bend both knees and take your feet to about the same distance from your hips. Keep your inner ankles long and feet active. Inhale to lift and lengthen your spine. You can stay here or root down through your sitting bones and fold forward. Reach your arms in front of you and rest your head on your knees. Move slowly as you transition. Inhale, lift from the forward bend. Gently extend your legs in front of you to staff pose. It's important to take your time with opening your hips because hip ligaments are strong. At the same time, don't avoid difficulty. Don't look away from the tight places. Take Gomukhasana on the second side. Stack your left knee on top of your right. Feel free to keep the bottom leg straight or bend the right knee and position both feet close to the same distance from your hips. You can stay here or root the sitting bones into the earth, soften the front of the hips into the body, and fold forward. Inhale to come up. Extend your legs into staff pose and take a moment to breathe. Come to Downward Facing Dog. Cross your shins, roll forward, and step back. Lengthen the backs of your legs as you root the four corners of your feet toward the floor. Inhale, reach your right leg up and back. Exhale to Kapotasana, Pigeon Pose. Bring your right shin forward and down so that the right foot is in front of the left hip and the right shin is close to parallel to the front edge of your mat. If your right hip does not easily reach the floor, place a folded blanket or block under your right sitting bone. Flex your right foot and reach back through your left thigh as you draw your left hip forward. Exhale, fold over your right leg. People often dread hip openers because they are such a challenge. Be present again without judgment. This can be such a delicious practice. Inhale, lift the torso. Plant the hands shoulder distance. Step back to down dog. Roll the shoulders away from the ears as you relax the back of the neck. Reach the heels toward the floor and lengthen the backs of the legs. 
Inhale, lift your left leg back. Exhale, pigeon pose. Place the block or blanket under your left hip if you need support. Adjust your left shin to close to parallel to the front edge of your mat. Flex your left foot. Stretch your right thigh back and at the same time draw your right hip forward. Exhale, lengthen your belly and fold over your left leg. Let your body drop into the earth with surrender. Stay with opening to your breath. Inhale, lift the torso up, plant the hands, step back, downward dog. Breathe into your belly, your lower back, your hips, your thighs. Bend your knees and come to seated in staff pose to prepare for Baddha Konasana, bound angle pose. Draw your right knee into your chest, then drop it out to the right. Bring the left knee into the chest and out to the left. Bring the soles of your feet together and keep the outer edges of your feet grounded. You can stay here or fold forward. Since we hold so much of our stress and negative emotions in the pelvis, it's particularly important to do poses that move prana through this area. Continue to send your breath to your belly your low back, your hips, and your thighs. Inhale to lift your torso and keep your knees low to the ground as you extend your legs forward. To prepare for the final hip opener, you'll want two blankets nearby for frog pose. Come to all fours and place a blanket under each leg from the knee to the foot. Bring your forearms to the floor for support. Bend your knees so that your thighs and your shins are at 90 degree angles. Flex your feet. Slowly widen the knees as far apart as possible. Keep your front ribs in, your waist long, and your tailbone down. Take deep breaths through this challenging and effective hip opener. Don't push yourself. Instead, be receptive to the breath. To come out of the pose, press into your forearms, slowly lift up, and bring your knees toward one another. Sit back on your heels for Balasana, child's pose. Release your torso over your thighs and place your forehead on the floor. Your arms can be by your sides or stretched forward. Relax your belly, jaw, and forehead. Rest here as you send your breath to your pelvis and hips. Slowly sit up and then lie down to savor Shavasana. Corpse pose. Let your shoulders and neck soften and open. Allow the thighs, hips, pelvis, and lower back to release. Continue to be receptive to the breath 
and be present without judgment.